touch screens are everywhere and they make things very convenient but when you drop items that have touch screens well they can get broken and in this case this one's broken and I don't know that I'm going to be able to fix it but if I can get a touch screen for it I certainly will let's check it out hmm. it's got a crack display this is a Shogun external recorder the, the uh, screen is cracked of course this is an external recorder for uh, you can record basically from uh, an SDI input or an HDMI input from a camcorder or a camera and it records in different resolutions including ProRes onto a, a hard drive that you just plug into the back here on a caddy. This is what uh, motion pictures are made with these days when they're out shooting with the, the different cameras. Uh, they uh, use these type of recorders. It has a screen on it and record right to a hard drive. I say this one was given to me, it was dropped and uh, let's tear it apart and see what uh, goes on inside this thing. The unit apparently works, it's just the uh, the touchscreen is, is shot. And of course without, without the touchscreen it's kind of hard to set it up. So let's just see whether we can open this thing up. light that comes on when it's recording. A record light on the back here. It's got a standard tripod mount so that it can be attached to a tripod out in the field and used as a field recorder monitor. In case you're wondering, no, the music is not dubbed. It was actually being picked up by the mic, so I can't get rid of it. Sorry, it's there. Deal with it. screws are out. This thing should. With any luck. Oh, there's more screws on this side. It's got, uh, it's got quarter inch mounts on both sides. So we'll remove these screws too. I guess that's so it can be hung from a camera or mounted on a tripod or mounted to the top of a camera or below a camera if it's on a crane, for example. I bet you I gotta remove these these screws here, yeah. On the uh, the BMCs. There. Now it should pop apart. And it does. Oh look at that. Your standard serial ETA and an edge connector which converts it over to a rear mount a heat sink here and of course the circuit board HDMI connectors on the side of it here and of course the screen very cool now if only, if only I could get this thing to work, the touchscreen on this to work. The touchscreen's broken. Like you say, the, the, the LCD lights up. That's not a problem. It's the digitizer. 
that is uh, shot. I tried to plug it into a power supply and nothing happened, but when I plug it into a battery, it comes on. There's a battery terminal on the back here. And when I plugged in to a, a Sony battery, it turned on. So I get the sneaking suspicion that the uh, the power adapter I used, even though it's within the voltage rating, uh, it didn't make a connection to the uh, jack on the back. Let's just try it again. Got my 12 volt adapter here. My adapter is working. 12 volts. It may not work with this particular jack. No, that's why. It must be a deeper jack than this. I'll try and trim a bit of this off and see whether this will uh, this will plug in further, and make a connection. I'm just using my snips off camera to uh, make the jack a little bit uh, deeper so that it'll plug into this socket on the side of this unit. Okay, a little deeper plug. Now, will it turn on if I press the power button? Ah, I got a red light. Updating firmware. What does that mean? It probably knows that I took it apart. See the the touch screen doesn't do anything. just where it's damaged over here is causing the problem, causing the short. Oh, okay. I have no idea how this thing works. I do know that if I plug my camera into this, I will see the picture on the screen. I know that much because I've tried it. For example, if I go over and reach over to my camera here and just unplug the HDMI cable running to my monitor and plug it into the input on the side of this, Voila, I have a monitor. Actually, it looks pretty good. It looks like a nice little monitor. It just doesn't, I can't access any of the, the menus. Now, there's no media attached to it, so obviously it's not gonna do anything, but I would think that, uh, that it would, uh, the menu should come up. Hmm. Maybe I'll throw that back on it again and I'll plug a little hard drive into it. See whether it uh, whether it does anything. 
we'll go grab a little hard drive. Okay, I've, I've put a hard drive on it now. A little 500 gig. I guess the 500 gig I grabbed. Um, but still, the touch screen doesn't work on it. I wonder if I hold it in a certain way. I think that probably what's happened is that the uh, digitizer is connected on this side and the electrodes all come across this way. I will say it has a fantastic picture. This looks like a 4K monitor. It is really super sharp. menu now. You can see the audio when I'm speaking. So this will record like 12, uh, 12 tracks it looks like. You can select which track you're going to record onto. Audio options. might be worth investigating to see if a, a digitizer could be got for it because it's not the LCD it's the digitizer it's the touchscreen portion is where the problem is That would be for like the vector scope, your scopes, that button. And uh, say record, play, headphone level, menu. Be an interesting unit to get working, that's for sure. Be a very interesting unit to try and get working, but uh, the only way that's going to happen is if I could find a, a screen and the the, the digitizer is probably a part that's not available. In fact, I'm pretty much sure that the, the digitizer is probably a part that you cannot get, unfortunately. But it would be neat if you could. This is an older unit from 2014. Oh well. I just figured I'd show you guys the, the guts to this thing. It's kind of cool. It was given to me. So 
I'm going to uh, just put it back together. At this point, if, if any of you guys watching this knows where a screen for one of these things, or not the screen, but the, the actual digitizer could be obtained, that would be great info to know. Because uh, if I could find one for it, I certainly would uh, entertain getting one and fixing this thing up. Because I think this would be a neat little unit to play around with as a recorder. This is a ProRes recorder. So if any of you guys know uh, where one of these screens could be uh, gotten, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, if we can find a digitizer for this, this one will be one that I'll try and get fixed. For now I'm just going to throw it back together. Nothing I can do on it with a broken screen, but at least we know it turns on and the actual monitor part works. So I'm sure once, if I can get a digitizer for it, I could... Uh, format the hard drive and actually try making some recordings on this thing and that would be kind of cool. Anyway, that's about all I can show on this. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.